Hey, it's Jeremy here with another tutorial. I'm gonna be showing you how to create this simple Jeep icon using just two colors and simple strokes and monolines. You can actually create a nice look and feel. So first up, what we do is I'm gonna go to Google and just type in Jeep side for you. You can do this with a lot of other pictures as well. You can type in other cars if you want, but I'm just gonna use a Jeep. So you got all these Jeeps here and I believe I use this one. It's kind of simple, it's kind of nice. And what I'm gonna do, right click, copy image and just draw that in, copy that into Illustrator there. Um, sometimes it might go white because if it's a PNG image or whatever like that, but that's okay. We don't really need to worry about that. And what I want to do, drop the opacity of the image by about 60% like that. And I'm going to lock this Jeep. So press Control Command 2 to lock it. You can also go to Object and Lock. So now the image is locked and what we're going to do, start building our line over the top. So to create this nice, you know, monoline, what we do is use the pen tool and I'm just going to select a bright yellow color and make sure the stroke is selected. So you can see here, if you press X, it's going to make sure it's on the fill or the stroke and you can press shift X and it will switch the colors there. I'm going to bump up the stroke, maybe by five pixels. And I'm going to start to build the outline of the car. So I'm just going to start from the left here and slowly build around it. The key is to not worry about all the little bumps in and all that. It's all about to just get the main silhouette, the main shape of the Jeep and focus on building that. And I'm just holding shift to get straight lines if I want straight lines. If you want curvy lines, you can just, you know, click and drag and holding shift and it'll create a nice curve like that. So you can see that I'm dragging left, holding shift and it keeps the proportion horizontal which is awesome. Makes it nice and clean lines. And you can see here, there's a curve, but I don't want that. What I can do is just click on that and it'll get rid of the handle. And I can just continue to just do straight lines again. So I'm just going through here. And just finding the overall, you don't have to follow exactly the image, but you get the overall shape just like that. So I've already built one part of the of the car and I bumped the stroke so you guys can see that. And now we'll start building all the other pieces. So I'll go with the hood. And I'll start building it. And the cool thing about working with monoline is that, you know, all the strokes are going to be similar. So it actually adds a nice simplicity and consistency to it. You can see here, I'm just trying to align these strokes. So if you select the strokes and go up the top, and if you change the selection to key anchor, you can actually align, make sure these align together, these strokes here. So you can click the center. And the same goes for this as well. So you can see that now it's making it straight with that stroke there. And I might, you know. And we can always play around with it later. So we've got that. Got the fuel tank. I'm just going to use the circle. So L for the ellipse tool to make a circle there. And then for the wheel, I can just do a square. So press M for the rectangle tool to click and drag that. And then what I can do is hold press A and select these little white orbs and what that does is round that off. So you can see you've got like a donut looking shape here. And then I'll just put that I can put it like that. That's fine. And I'll put just one stroke for the door there. Door handle. <laughs> Cool. I'll leave that and then I'll work on the wheels. So using ellipse tools again, I'm just going to create a copy, control C, control F, drag that down by holding shift and alt. You can see you can drag it down like that. Once again, another circle. And then what you can do is just create one stroke. So using the pen tool. So I've got this one stroke here. I'll just change the color so you can see. What I'm going to do is press R for rotate tool. 
rotate tool is here on the left. Now I can go in the middle of the center of this and hold Alt or Option, left click, and we can actually rotate that. So you want to try and find a number that's equal to you know 360. So then when you copy it all the way around, it's even, as you can see there. But then we can delete the ones we don't want. So I'll just go through, delete every second one. So we just got these five here. And then what you can do, you can actually group these together. So press Control or Command G, and that's going to make a group. And then I can press Control Shift Left Square Bracket, and it's going to bring it to the back there. Or you can just press Control Left Square Bracket, and it'll bring it below that. And then what we can do there is just copy this across by holding Alt or Option to the other wheel. And then I'll just create two lines. for the suspension there and just edit that. So then we can see there, if I just drag this out, we've got that cool looking Jeep already. And you can go along and add, add more details as you go if you want it to be you know more detailed. I might add just the door here. So sweet, we've got all that. I'll add maybe cool. So what I can do now is I'll just make a copy of it. Make sure you just select it all. I'll just copy that holding alt. So if we want to go back and edit it, we can leave that there. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to make a rectangle, pressing M. You can make an artboard if you want as well. But I'm just going to make a rectangle and change the color to this dark brown. And then bring it to the back. So you can go Object, Arrange, Bring to Back, Send Back. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to lock this. So that background's locked. And I'll make this a bit smaller. And now I'm going to start to color it and move around the shapes. So you can see some parts are looking a bit weird. It needs a bit of space. I can make it maybe smaller. Give it some breathing room. Cool. And then I'm going to fix the alignment here. Make it straight. Actually, I'm going to leave it like that. I shall make it straight. So I'm just tweaking here. And what I like to do is well, I like to keep my strokes rounded. That's just personal preference. So if I go to my stroke panel, here's my strokes. You can go to window and stroke to open that. And then what I can do is click this middle round join, round corners. Now you can see all the corners are rounded. So you can see that, not rounded, now rounded. And you might have to edit a few of these strokes just so it's not peeking out. Keeping it clean, simple monoline. Sweet, so we've got this, and now what I'm gonna do is just start selecting the strokes I want, and I'm gonna play around the color. <coughs> so usually I'll keep the main shape, like a different color, or like the metal. So maybe the metal we can just make all, you know, one color, and then everything else, we can just make it another color. You can also use the eyedropper tool to select other strokes. Copy the same color, so it can copy that color there. And then I'm just gonna control square bracket or command square bracket if you're on a Mac. And just make sure it's below. So I've got all that. Maybe if there's too much. Maybe we can add some other colors like that if you wanted. So you can, it's all about just playing around, experimenting, and you can create a nice cool Jeep. Another cool thing we can do as well is if you're happy with it, I'm going to select it and I'm going to go to my color guide and select this little color wheel. And you can see I've already got some other color groups here. And if I select these other ones, it's going to edit these three colors based on this color group. So you can see they can get a rice red one a plain, you know, cream color one, 
So if I want this red one, I can select it, press OK. Or I can press this button here and it's going to play around with the different colors and move them around. So you can see that you can get different variations, which I love doing. And when you're happy, you can press OK. And then you can save changes. You can say no. And then there we go. We've got our Jeep monoline icon. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment below and let me know if you liked it or if you want to see something new. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see some fresh new design content every week.